Are store brand chips better than name brand chips? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Hey, you wanna win a trip to meet and eat with us? Well, all you gotta do is pre-order our new novel, The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek, and submit your proof of purchase at bleakcreek.com to enter the sweepstakes, the Bleak Creek Barbecue Bonanza. Yes, two winners and their guests will get an all expense paid trip out to LA for a very mythical pig picking with us and the crew and tickets to Bleak Creek Conversations and any pre-order from the past count as proof of purchase. Void were prohibited, no purchase necessary, full rules on the website. Now, potatoes. They're an incredibly versatile root vegetable. With some skill, you can turn them into anything. French fries, a small battery, or even a tiny rotting friend. <laughs> Or just chips, which I have a tremendous weakness for. And I think that the name brands, Lay's, Doritos, Tostitos, mm. Fritos, Cheetos, all the O's yep. make me the weakest, but I could be wrong. Do store brands have more game than I thought? It's time for Knock Off Knockout Chips Edition. Each round we'll have four bowls of chips in front of us. One will contain a big name brand that we all know, and the other three will have some variety of store brand or generic versions of that same type of chip. Okay, and we're gonna be competing to correctly guess the name brand, and the winner will be named Chippy Longstock. Ah, there you go. Let's taste. Round one. Okay, first up we got the triangle that's wrecked more lives than the Bermuda based on addictive taste alone. Let's find the Dorito that is nacho flavored. Now this one's got a lot of nacho cheese. That's a good chip. I could get lost in a bag of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say that's a Dorito. Oh, this is distinctly different. That is not a Dorito. Oh, we're competing. I shouldn't tell you that. That's a Dorito, that's not a Dorito. Got it. <laughs> this one is um, more corny. That's a corn chip. It's way too corny. They're all corn chips. This one looks like a Dorito. Hmm. It tastes like a Dorito. <laughs> this is not gonna be easy. I thought this would be so easy. This one has a lot of cheese, which I just dumped cheese on some of those by accident. This one's got a darker flavor, like a darker corn flavor. Oops, mm. I'm breaking something. This sucks. This is not Doritos. Um, this is not anything I wanna taste again. This one I feel like is my favorite. because it's my favorite. I don't know, they made that these look the same. They look the same, man. All right, at this point you're just eating a bunch of Doritos, so. And I'm having a great time. <laughs> I love my job. All right, are you ready? You gonna make to a man not do his job? To I'm guess? Ready. I'm ready. I, I don't know, freaking, I don't freaking know. These three are, do you? Do, I, do feel, you I, I feel like I know. I, this is, I, I'm making an educated guess. Okay. Okay, here we go, three. Two, one. Bam! I'm going with my initial instinct. Okay, the Doritos are in bowl three. Yes. How did you know? Be I knew that these were definitely not it. What is that? Okay, so starting from uh, from my left, it's Clover Valley from Dollar General. So those are your favorite link. Those are good. Then Market Pantry from Dollar Target. Mark they didn't taste good. Then Doritos and then Great Value from Walmart. I thought that Great Value did a great job of almost getting to a Dorito, but there is a almost intangible quality that hit me, it's a Dorito-ness. And it just hit me when I ate them. And that's what I went with. It was a, it was a soul connection. Round two. Okay, here we have four different corn chips, all shaped like long ass toenail clippings. Our job is to identify <laughs> the Fritos. I've had a lot of Fritos in my life, but I've never really, I don't ever look at my food, I just eat it. I just open the bag and I eat it. Oh, these are darker. All right, just by scent alone, I know which one it is. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat them, so. <laughs> Quit putting your freaking nose in them. Well, I'm not actually touching. Hmm, that's a good Frito in number one slot. Number two tastes a lot better than I, yeah, not good. That number two slide is jinxed. Huh. Number four is very salty. That's burnt. Number three is unsalted and unburnt. Huh. Number four, huh. 
I've lost all perspective. You say when you smelled them, you knew. But when I tasted them, I you forgot. Didn't. I thought that, yeah. We need some chili up in here. That would help. Okay, you ready? No. <laughs> ready? You're eating everything. Get your flag. Well, Link, oh. you have, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <sighs> All right, so you agree. Yeah. And that was my scent assessment as well as taste. But I'll tell you right now, I'm like 70% sure I'm right, because these could be Fritos. That, that could be it, not these two. These could be Fritos. The real Fritos are in bowl number two. <laughs> no, they're not. Uh, no, you are wrong. Yeah. Guys. The others are. Are you sure? Market Pantry from Why are Target. they so dark? Then Fritos, then Great Value from Walmart, and then Clover Valley from Dollar Fritos General. are so much darker than anyone ever thought. Again, Link, your favorites were the Dollar General. Dollar General? I feel betrayed. Round three. Chester Cheetah says that the cheese puffs are dangerously delicious, but are they actually dangerously overpriced? Let's find out. These have less cheese. Again, I just feel like I haven't been looking at my food enough. These are cheeseless. Oh my gosh. They're not good. Uh, that tastes like, are you sure that's just not a packing peanut? Yeah, that's horrible. I think that might be actual styrofoam. And what about these? More cheese. They're better than the first ones, but I wouldn't binge on those. Look at the diameter. It's a smaller finger. I feel like somebody who's actually really familiar with a Cheeto puff would be like, oh, guys, it's so obvious which ones they are, but I just, again, I just don't, I never look, it just goes. Now that's a good one. Finally, we're getting to the good stuff. Now these, these are short and stubby and these are longer and, and seed. Seed? That's not how Cheetos are made. You don't plant these and they turn into trees. It's like a seed. Um, I think these are the tastiest. Now y'all didn't throw planters up in this piece, did you? Hold on, but do Cheetos cheese puffs have a curve to them? I don't know. Cause I was a planters cheese ball man growing up. Yeah, that's a totally different world. They're just balls. But they also had cylinders. That tastes the best. These but, are an, these are an honorable mention. Hmm. All right. The Fritos thing really threw me off. Man. I don't know if there's a bend to them or not. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. I'm, I thought there was a bend, but these taste better, so I'm going with that. I agree these taste the best. I'm going out on a limb here, a curved limb. The real Cheetos are in bowl number four. Yes. Uh, okay. So what so is the what? ones that you absolutely hated were Sprouts, Sprouts and then needed. Market Pantry from Target and then Great Value from uh, Walmart. Great okay. Value is doing a good job. So we didn't have no Dollar General in this round. They would have been the best. Round four. Okay, it's time for the ultimate chip to dip and the most underwhelming but healthful snack to bring to a party: Tostitos tortilla chips. Now. If I ask you before looking at these to describe Tostitos, what would you say is a hallmark of that chip? I would say thinness. I wouldn't have said that. Don't love that. It's just a corn chip. Not, not salty enough. They're big. These taste exactly the same as number one. No, they don't. Mm -mm. What's different to you? I don't think I can tell you. Sure you can. You think they're better? I don't think I can tell you. Now these are consistently more curly. Not as flat. A lot more structural integrity. Thicker. That'll really dip something. Oh yeah. And they're tasty too. Then down here we've but got- But your thinness comment is really throwing me off. These are the thickest ones so far but not as curly. Those are the thinnest ones. And you think thinness is the hallmark? These do not taste, these taste the best. These don't taste as good. Man. Which one of these would you want? Just sitting here eating chips and confusing myself. Mm -hmm. Especially after so much flavor in the other rounds, it's kind of, kind of making me sad. There's nothing you can, you can't just look at them and tell. Tostitos. 
All right, we're gonna have to vote. All right, sticks up. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm going for the thinnest one. And you, you know what? You may be right, I've never thought about that. These just taste the most nostalgic to me, so I'm going with three. The real Tostitos are in bowl number two. Yes. Uh, you're right, they are thin. Yes. So which ones were your favorite? <laughs> the links that he liked the taste are the ones that I I like these a lot. Okay, so from the left, it's Signature Select from Albertsons, then Kroger, and then number four is Clover Valley. Clover Valley. So Kro Kroger is doing a really good job. And, and the Kroger did a really good. good job with uh, some other test we did. Kroger brings it pretty hard. Round five. Lay's original, big name in chips and a desirable bargaining chip in school playgrounds and prison yards. Oh, yeah, that one time I was in prison. And I, I like that. I like the curly ones, the ones that flop over on themselves. If you gave me these and told me they were Lay's, I would believe you. Yeah. They are great. You ate two. I ate two of all of them. Hmm. Whoa. Our sample size here, they're all smaller in size. The oil on those is real good. I was gonna say that it's actually potato -ier. And that's a good thing. Look at that, oh look at that, it's a double fold. See, I don't think Lay's actually do that double fold. That's a good chip though. Yeah, it is. Moving on over here. That one's different. This is a fine line here. Yeah. This one is real good. It's so crispy. This one here puts that one to shame. Number four. That's solid too. They're all great, all those are small. Now I'm just eating them, they're all in my mouth together. <laughs> That's what I do. But I know which one is the Lay's. Okay, oh. you ready to I don't, hold on. I only have a chance to tie, I gotta take this very seriously. I know. Okay. Now are you ready? I got a weakness for chips, man. Yeah. Okay, three. Two, one. You were close, but it's gotta be three, right? The Lay's original chips are in bowl number four. Oh! Oh! Yes! What? Hey. What? The others were Great Value, Signature Select, and Kroger. They're all good. I gotta, I, I gotta, my personal opinion is that they're all good. Again, I dug into my soul. <laughs> I dug into this place where it's not this decipherable taste, it's just this thing that's a connection with like a deep part of myself. I thought I had made the connection. No, you were, no, I think you were overthinking it, man. I was Those feeling. are good though. These are, the, these are the best. You think those are the best? Uh, I think that they're, they're all really good. I, I don't know which one's the best, I just knew that was Lay's. But you know what, all I know is we tied and that we are both officially Chippy Longstocking. Oh, what's happening? You were prepared for us to tie. Isn't that cute? Wow, okay. This is awesome. <laughs> we're all winners today. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Matt. Hey, I'm Noah. We're eating chips. Just got our haircuts and waiting for the car to be washed. And? Chips and a haircut. Click the top link to watch us try wild chip combinations and good mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Need some new accessories for your pup? Look no further than our Mythical Pattern Pack for pups, available now at mythical.com.